So this question says in triangles ABC and DEF, angles B and E each have measure 27 degrees and angles C and F each have measure 41 degrees. All right, so without telling us, basically what this question is saying is that these two triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is similar, it's a similar symbol, to DEF. So I'm gonna draw these triangles um, I'm not going to care too much about making my angles look accurate because that doesn't matter to me. I'm going to label this A, B, and C. And then I have this other triangle here, which just want to do it in the same order. So A goes with D, B goes with E, and C goes with F. I'm remembering or I'm told that B and E are 27. So this top angle is 27 for both and C and F are 41, right? So this bottom right angle is 41 for both. Which additional piece of information is sufficient to determine whether triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF? All right, so first of all, we automatically know that A and D are the same because the three angles of a triangle, the sum of the three angles of a triangle must add up to 180. So if they're both starting, if we're if both of these angles are the same between the two triangles, then that gives reason to believe that choice D, not believe, but to know as a fact that choice that angles A and D must be equal to each other. So we already know that. There's no need to provide that information. So the question or the answer choices say the measure of angle A. Again, I don't think just by providing that that's enough. That is in fact enough for us to say that they're similar. But it's not enough to say that they are congruent because congruence requires all corresponding angles to be the same, which we do know at this point, but also requires that all corresponding sides are also the same. So choice B, the length of side AB, if we just have the length of side AB and not the length of side DE, right, it's corresponding side then that would not be enough either. So A is gone, B is gone. Choice C, the lengths of B, C, and E, F. Well, if we knew B, C, and we knew E, F, and we knew that they were the same exact measurement, then yes, we could prove or we could say that these two triangles are congruent. If we knew that they were not the same measurement, then we could say for sure they're not congruent. So I'm liking choice C as a correct answer here. Choice D, no additional information is necessary. That's definitely not true. There isn't any additional information necessary to say that they're similar. Again, we don't really need to be given angles A and D. We can find that for ourselves and show that the angles, the corresponding angles between two triangles are the same. But without knowing the side lengths, we can't say that these two triangles are congruent. So D is definitely out. So choice C is the correct answer here.